last starting quarterback 20 games or more in college Michael Brewer seven years ago big pressure there still got rid of it Wells and Caleb Smith is inside the 25 oh well it's a perfect pressure but Grant Wells sees the pressure he stares it down and he still delivers a strike and this is how you earn the respect quickly of your teammates Wells will take it this time he is all alone he is going to score Grant Wells immediately stamps his name into Virginia Tech's program with an 18 yard touchdown run after a 40 yard strike a couple of plays ago. Oh, and the offensive coordinator told us he is more athletic than people give him credit for. And there you see it, just a zone read. He's got his eyes on the defensive end, Harris. The defensive end crashes and he pulls it and there's no secondary player to account for the quarterback. Wicks for a first down. Wicks will receive this pass, got a good block on the outside, broke a tackle, breaks another one, but a flag is thrown for the secondary. There's some late pressure, it's picked up nicely by the running back King. Wells loves it, intercepted! He overthrew it right into the breadbasket of Terry Jones. You gotta find ways to get them touches. No touch for either here. It's a run for Watson. Inside the 15, he sneaks past the line to gain. Such a hard runner, Blake Watson is. Nice block across the line of the scrimmage there by Koontz. And you get a hat on a hat on that left side of that Old Dominion offensive line. Wolf will hand it right back off, and there is a bullet from Nasir Peoples. Right out of the secondary and right into the backfield for a long. I haven't thrown it to him yet. This from 29. And Sanchez is still good. 24, 29, no big thing. Ethan Sanchez drills his first career field goal. And Old Dominion will not be shut out in 2022. I think it'll be an entertaining product because you'll see more teams and more opportunity but different results. Wells deep pass complete. Right to the sideline, Daywan Lofton. There's a long throw from Grant Wells. Tight to the formation here with Jalen Holst in the back. A fake to him. A deep shot again for Wells. All kinds of space for Steven Gosnell. Tight to the formation here with Jalen Holst in the back. A fake to him. A deep shot again for Wells. All kinds of space for Steven Gosnell. You're thinking run, run, run early in the downs and then a play action pass right behind their ears. Play action again for Wells. That is intercepted. Before it hit the ground, Tobias Harris took it away. Out route here into a press corner. That, that's a no-no. You cannot throw an out route into a corner that is pressed. You throw an out route when a corner is soft, and that, that's another decision that Brent Pry and Tyler Bowen are going to have to. Right back to Black. Chance Black, little stutter step across the 45. Now that was shifty by Black. Yeah. All games on ABC, streaming on the ESPN app. Keyshawn King bounces out of a whole bunch of Monarchs, and King, who looked like he would have nothing, ends up with 14 in a first down. Virginia Tech play-by-play -play announcer, also does some games for us here at ESPN. Here's a big run for Keyshawn King, and Bill's going to have an electric call on this one. We can promise you that. Inside the 20 of first down tech. And it's King again. We're going to watch the left guard, Jesse Hansen here, 72. Center, Johnny Jordan. And he just bounces off of guys. He's physical, he's tough, but it's the yards after the contact. Transfer from Coastal Carolina, who has not played in three years. From 38, the snap gets away. Oh, boy. This is a whole mess. Old Dominion's going to pick it up. It's going to be a scoop and score. Touchdown, Monarchs. Robert Kennedy, the safety, all the way down the field. And Old Dominion has surged into the lead as Virginia Tate makes a mess of the field goal try. A high snap. And if you're the, try to get on it as best as you can there. If you're 85 for Virginia Tech, he misses it, and it's a house call. 
for Old Dominion. Justin Pollock is the long snapper for Virginia Tech. Typically, you do not want your name to be mentioned if you're the long snapper. He motions out. Jennings is wide to the left. Wolf looking for Koontz. He is covered up, but somebody is not, and that somebody is Allie Jennings finally, but he lost the ball late, and Virginia Tech's Dax Hallifield was in there. He has the takeaway for the Hokies. Hand off here to King. Keyshawn King had some nice first half runs, and he has a nice second half run to start. Ross from 44. Staff is better. So is the hold. The kick is a beauty. Right down the gut from Will Ross to tie the game at 10. It's an explosive play in the passing game is 20 yards or more. Second down, screen play. Old Dominion's all over it. Gallo had the play. It's a loss of two on a quick rack of wrap up. He's calling plays for the second time. Wolf is hit. The ball is out. It's picked up by Virginia Tech's Dax Hollifield. Jaden Keller punched it out, and it's a takeaway for Tech at the 10. After Hayden Wolf just gets drilled from the blind side. Dax Holyfield, who punched the ball out for Virginia Tech's first turnover earlier in the game. This time, right place at the right time. He'll look to the right. He'll throw to the right. It's King all alone for a Hokies touchdown. But the thing is, there's no offensive linemen are out in front, so it's not a slow screen. It just totally confused. Armani Chapman is assigned to Kuntz at the top of the formation. Third down. Kuntz is underneath. He slipped free. He's got a first down. Ten play of this drive coming. It'll be a run to Wick. Swimming his way. Keeping his balance across the five. Worming down to the three. Hollifield made the stop. Ethan Sanchez from 20. It's 17-13. Six points offensively for Old Dominion. A long drive ends in just three. A tackling machine who will put his body on the line and do whatever it takes. Wolf, there's the shot. One on one. It is caught. What an adjustment. Ollie Jennings finally makes the big play they've been waiting for. 35 yards. We've seen Wolf overthrow his receivers. He gets the one-on-one -on -one matchup that he wants with his receiver, who had over a thousand yards receiving last year, and that's just like a back shoulder underthrown ball. That is a great throw. Stop the clock with 3:12. Wells will run it. Wells goes down. Hung onto the ball, but that was all he did. Third and 13. They look to throw it with Wells. A short pass. It is intercepted. Oh, wow. A flag thrown very late. Ryan Henry had the interception right out of the hands of a Virginia Tech player, Holston. Out of thin air. From his own 26, Wolf has a wide open receiver. It's Jennings. What a start that is. Ollie Jennings wriggling free here in the fourth quarter for 24. A minute 16 and two timeouts for the Monarchs. Wolf off his back foot. Up for grabs. It is caught down to the one yard line. Ollie Jennings. The flags are out as well. Dorian Strong in the coverage. This penalty will quite obviously be declined, and it should be first and goal at the one. Really step in and finish his throw, which is why the ball kind of floats in the air, and Dorian Strong sees it. He just can't quite slam on the break. Would have elected to use the timeout. Second down inside the one. Again, it is Watson. This time he is in for sure. Light up the fireworks. Old Dominion is in the lead. For real this time. Blake Watson with a touchdown plunge.
And pandemonium continues here in Norfolk. How about the running, the running hard from Blake Watson on this drive? Remember earlier in the drive on fourth and one, the play was blown up and it was dead. Your old Dominion, you cannot let anybody get behind you. Wells way down the field. It is in the coverage. It is intercepted. It is over. Lamarian James has sealed the victory for Old Dominion. And missed opportunities. Wells just doing all he can here is just throwing up a prayer. Seals the deal with a fourth. And paint the Commonwealth Monarch blue. Here they come as Old Dominion takes down Virginia Tech.